hope you're all okay. Uh, just before you watch this reading, I've been asked, Spirit have asked me to send out a little bit of a heads up to you all. This is a really, really deep, intense spiritual reading, okay? So it is going to be, it's kind of more for the spiritually advanced people, um, or those of you that are in really spiritual, or more divine relationships, you're not really sure what's going on. Um, so the depth of it is really really deep so you need to just have a little bit of a breather as you go through it go get a cup of tea before you start or a biscuit or some chocolate or whatever um, and just take your time with it because it is going to take a bit of processing okay all right guys enjoy hey my angels welcome back hope you've all had a really good week um thank you for everyone that got involved on the instagram post about what readings you wanted to see so i've gone through it add a big chat with me guys and what we're going to do today is we're going to do the truth about your connection like about you and your person but what the connection is and we're going to go i've gone through everything we've picked out uh, we've drawn up a spread which i rarely do um so we're going to go into the connection what are the blocks that are stopping the connection being together uh what are the signs that you need to be looking for from spirit that things are moving in the right direction how it's move, going to move forward and what your overall outcome is okay so we've drawn up a spread we're going to go for it we're still only going to use two decks and uh, remember as always it works on the strongest mutual energy between you all rather than your individual circumstances so for individual circumstances uh you'll need to book a private reading so for like third parties and stuff i will do a third party reading and i will do singles reading in the next couple of weeks um but for this as a strongest mutual energy this is about you and your person and your connection okay and um, so two decks as always we don't really need more than two um, plus I haven't got any more hands I'd have to get someone to, to, to hold up another deck for me right so we're gonna go deck number one and we're gonna go with deck number two so I need to think you to think very 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 hard about your person and I want you to kind of feel it being pushed down into your heart center energy and from your heart push it to the deck that you are drawn to Okay, I need to get your heart energy into this. So through your thought process, think of your person down into your heart and push it to the deck that you are drawn to. That's just gone dead, have you? Number one, number two. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, does not seem to me, guys. Right, so we're going to do, we'll probably three cards on each part of this. So we just get into your energies. First, let's go through that mutual energy. Uh, some of you guys, um, you are going to need to ground yourselves at the moment. Some of you are just feeling a little bit lightheaded or getting a headache. Just put both feet, it's very high energy this reading, put both feet on the floor. Imagine plant roots coming all the way down into the centre of the earth and just hook it in for me. Um, you also might need some water, green tea or hot water with rosemary in it. Just a really high energy reading. Okay, think about your person. Let's get that heart centered energy from that. And let's go. Can you tell me what is the connection between the people watching and their person? What is the overall connection? I'm still trying to battle off this cold A fever. It's still on my nose. It's like they're congested. So if I'm sniffling, <laughs> what is the connection? Two, three cards of each. What are the blocks? One. Two. Three. What are the signs? One. We'll work with spirit with the signs as well. Two. How is the situation going to move forward or how can they move it forward? How can they move it forward? I love this stuff. I haven't used it for ages. I like to go back to old decks. And what's the overall outcome for them and their person? I go through stages with decks. We've got like I've got loads. Overall outcome. Okay. So let's go. Let's go. So we're going to start off with the connection between you and your person. So this is a spiritual connection. That's the first thing that we need to um, to bring into your attention. You probably already know that, uh, but you've brought, brought up the high priestess, okay? Um, 
this is a relationship that kind of goes back through history, it goes back through time. Now, it's not necessarily a karmic relationship, however, um, even if your person is a twin flame or a soulmate, there is still going to be an element of karma because you will have lived many, many, many past lives with these per this person and these past lives will still have an impact on your life today. Now, I do past life readings and it's really interesting to see how the past life situation um, is affecting the person's situation today and we do a clearing on it. So this is uh, this relationship with your person is a relationship that is firstly spiritual, that it goes back through many, 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 many lifetimes. Uh, there's a variety of lifetimes here. Some of you, uh, the most out of everyone watching, the most amount of times you've been on Earth is a uh, 42, okay? So the, out of all of you lot watching, the person that's had the most times on Earth is a 42, and the person that's had the least time on Earth is a three, okay? So all of you watching have been on Earth before and been reincarnated into this lifetime. So you have had this spiritual kind of connection that has been going through time. Um, it's been one that has been more, yeah, more spiritual, more about trusting your intuition and more about uh, focusing on how your situation is evolving throughout each lifetime, if that makes sense to you. So in this in this card, you've got the woman with the book, which has reminded me of the Akashic Records. If you haven't been to the Akashic Records, I don't do Akashic Record readings, um, but if you haven't been to them, go onto YouTube, type in Akashic Records and go and have a look at your soul contracts with your person. Um, we do life purpose readings where we can touch the tip of it, but Akashic Record readings I don't do. So go and have a look at them uh, yourself. So spiritual relationship one that's evolved over time um, and one that is kind of been backwards and forwards in this karmic kind of energy and this karmic energy is what has been making this situation feel a little bit stuck from moving forward at the moment some of you are twin flames some of you are false twin flames some of you are uh, soulmates some of you are higher vibrational soulmates the, the connection type is very variant on your individual circumstances um, but the, with all of them, there is an element of karma. There isn't many karmic people watching this, uh, but there is an element of karma being brought into your equation, uh, into your situation. Sorry, not equation. Being brought into your situation. And this karmic energy is kind of what is making the situation feel a little bit stuck, a little bit stagnant, and a little bit as if nothing is happening. The other side of things on this connection that this is a heart-based energy so a lot of you there is this love connection so uh, you'll either be lovers in a past life you'll be in relationships in a past life you might even be family if there's a more kind of uh, not such a passionate sexual energy between the two of you there could be a, a, a family connection going on um, but this is where your your past lives have been and this multitude of very very close connection going back through many many lifetimes um, and this element of karma which is making it feel stuck okay so that is what your connection is for your person what are the blocks the blocks are that there is this kind of need for everything to be happening right now um it, we can't speed up the process unfortunately i mean you well you can by manifesting you can obviously speed up the process by manifesting um but the trying to get to your very very happy ending from point a to point c so point a you say is where you are at the moment point c is where you're going to be with them and you're trying to go through point b you're trying to miss it you're trying to skip point B and because it's a spiritual connection uh, the point of that is that you're going to be learning life lessons on this journey and the the involvement of you and your person is based on that so it's this kind of connection um, that is there to kind of teach you these lessons work out where you're meant to be going your long-term objectives are going to be reached with this person but you need to be very very patient it's going to be quite backwards and forwardsy uh, so first block is that you're wanting it all here and now Second block is it feels like it's going backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards. Um, it's going to be learning about kind of trusting the universe, trusting the process, trusting you're using the tools that you have been gifted with, like the powers of manifestation, like the universal laws that we use. Using those uh, those laws to get the outcome that you desire. So it's kind of regaining your power, regaining your strength. Uh, a lot of you feeling are focusing on a very earthly level at the moment, but it's really important with it being such a strong spiritual connection to remember who you are and use the tools that you've been gift given to move it forward. 
the other side of things over here is that uh, for those of you that are third parties, obviously we kind of got a block with that. Um, for those of you that aren't third parties, there is these fears, there is this worry that, oh my God, what if there's someone else? Again, because it's karmic energy, that will have happened in a past life involving someone else. Um, you're worrying that they might not want you, you're worrying that this night might not be the right time or the right person, etc. And like I said, you can't get from point A to point C without going through point B and that's kind of where you're worrying where you stand in point B this is where your fears are amalgamating accumulating and becoming this part of oh my god what the hell is going on so that is this block as well and um, it's important to kind of release the situation please remember when I say release it I don't mean forget about it job done move on uh, release is about letting it go so the universe can navigate around you because at the moment um, when you hold on to a situation so so tightly you're not allowing the universe to move it and there's also the spiritual law of detachment and through detachment that is when the universe can bring it to you so if there's a third person or if you're worried that there's someone else release those kind of fears and say to the universe right you know what i want um, I'm okay waiting for it, I'm okay for it to kind of come into fruition whenever you are ready, I know you've got my back, but please kind of give me the support and advice and the guidance that I need to move this situation forward, show me what I need to do within myself, what lessons do I need to learn to move my own situation forward. And that'll help as well. So we've got fear-based blocks. We've got wanting everything now. We've got not trusting in universal energy. And um, we've got not using your abilities that you know of and trusting your own intuition. Sorry, Spirit just came in really clearly with that. Um, and, and, and again, if you're third party worrying, or even if you're not third party, that fear of someone else, again, that's fear-based energy. Um, but trying to put this pressure on if there was someone else, wanting that answer from them right here, right now, that they're going to leave tomorrow and everything is going to be perfect. It is going to take time. You can't get from A to C. So those are what your blocks are okay with regard to sign spirit is saying um with the numbers now i talk about numbers quite a lot um with numbers with your 111 your 222 two, your 333 your 444 four, four, it is really and so on it is really really important that you work out what the universe is trying to tell you specifically so you can go onto angel numbers you can scribe through angel numbers and you can get the whole uh, legitimate this is what it means but how many of you have found that when you've done that, it relates to your situation, but it's not as specific as you would like it to be? So what you need to do is when you see your 222, your 333, your 444, is write down what you were thinking about at that point in time. And then when you see it again, write it down. And then when you see it again, write it down. And by the time you get to the fifth or sixth time of seeing your 222, your 333, uh, that is when you're going to work out what the universe is directly telling you so my numbers will be different to all of your numbers but when i see 222 that is when a situation is going to reoccur when i see 444 that is when something is happening behind the scenes that i'm not fully aware of when i see 555 and i'm sure this is more generic my 555 but it's always coming to fruition is when there's going to be a big change in my life and um, so it's really really important for you to work out what the specific numbers are telling you um okay try not to let other people carry you on your journey you've got to do a lot of the groundwork yourself i'm sorry that just came in really clearly whoops sorry about that um the other signs that you need to be aware of are if you are talking to spirit and saying show me a sign you need to be really really careful that you're not kind of making signs up so uh say to the universe instead be really specific uh so say something like show me a two flamingos with their necks entwined if your my person is going to contact me and wait and you know wait to see if you get it um can you get a universe can you please send me a random gift or get someone to give me something that doesn't belong to me to show me if i'm going to end up in a relationship with this person etc etc so it's thinking more outside the box to work with those signs and symbols that you are being given and um, cups are coming into the equation because obviously we work with cups and um, when you start uh, so some of you might even see cups okay i know that sounds a bit random uh, but spirit are saying that so if you are thinking oh 
let's say we're going to be together, the Three of Cups, which you've got here, is your celebration card. So if you say to you, show me three cups all together in one place, and you see a TV advert with three cups, you know that it's coming into place. So pay attention to cups as well. Um, once you start working it out, working out what the universe is trying to tell you, that is going to move forward. You make your own signs, you make your own symbols. Um, Car registration plates are always key for me. Uh, when things last time, last one I had was I had a car registration plate with justice on it. Um, and justice is, you know, the justice card endings. Um, and I got a text saying, oh, well, this is happening. And I was like, well, I kind of knew that was going to happen. So make sure that you're not just seeing signs and thinking, oh, that means that. Like if you're saying, oh, I don't know, Some pe when we want to see signs, sometimes we make up our signs in our head. So it's really important that you are looking outside the box and you will know when it's a universal sign because you'll feel it in your stomach. So pay attention to that. Um, also pay attention to songs. Songs are coming clearly into this energy. If you're suddenly sitting there and the radio blasts on a tune and you're like, oh, that lyric is interesting, songs are key as well. Music, especially with me and my Claire audience, if you want to be regular, spirit will connect with you through songs uh, because that's how they work with me. So watch out for song lyrics, etc., etc. So those are your signs. How is the situation going to move forward? By releasing it. Okay, so we need to let go of the situation, have a go at surrendering meditations, have a look on Google on how to surrender meditations by manifesting. If you want manifesting plans, give me a shout. Uh, releasing fear, turning fear-based energy into love-based energy by start wanting to get from A to C without going through B. For, uh, by remembering that it is part of the journey, it's not the destination, it's the journey that you're going through. Um, from working more with the universe a lot better, um, like we said with those signs and symbol, symbols, by trying not to be trapped by your own fears and by going with the flow. Okay, If you release it, the universe can navigate around you. Uh, someone that's really, uh, one of my absolute gurus uh, is Eric Ho. So if you go and have a look on Eric Ho on YouTube, he does quite a few meditations on manifesting and he does this great one uh, about this manifestation portal. Go and have a go at it, it'll make you feel 100%, make you feel loads better. First time I did it, I was going around singing uh, Heaven is a Place on Earth afterwards. So go and have a go at doing that. Use the tools that you are being given. YouTube is a not, I mean, only go to the ones you're drawn to on YouTube, but YouTube is a knowledge of help and advice and guidance for you lot. So instead of trying to just get to the answer of are we going to be together, what is going to happen, go and have a look at releasing the situation of, uh, you know, manifesting it. And again, if you want your plans doing shout me um about how to move yourself forward and remember that everything you do is going to echo onto your person as well so the more work you do on yourself is going to echo onto them so it's really really important to do that okay you've got a wealth of knowledge use it and if you need me help just give me a shout okay and your overall outcome Yes, it's going to take time. Yes, it's going to take strength. Uh, with timings as well, you have to remember the psychic people, I mean, normally I'm not too far off with timings, uh, but with psychic people, we uh, we don't work with time. Time is a man-made object. Time is human, it's not spiritual. That's why psychics can dip into the past and dip into the present. That's why all videos are timeless. Time is non-existent to us. So you can see things we can see things from the past we can see things from the future and it's really kind of important to remember that that we're in a multi-dimensional universe and anything that we want has kind of already happened which i know is going to trip your head out um but going from that point it's going to get you a bit more strength in your stomach a bit more okay let's see how this rolls uh, gather your strength if it's taking a bit of time to manifest then just chill with it go and relax go and spend some time with your friends and trust in the universe your person loves you that's coming through really really clearly and remember it's a very very old uh, relationship that's gone through time so it's going to be this love that's built up over and over and over the years and you're going to feel that pull towards them and that pull's not just going to go and neither is it just going to go for your person it's a spiritual connection don't let those fears in because if you let those fears in you let them win gather your strength stand in your power manifest the outcome you want keep balanced on it all keep your strength around you know that they love you trust in the process feel more stable and secure in yourself do the work to feel more stable and secure in yourself do your work in trust in the universe and let it all unfill and you've got a really good chance with your person, okay? But that is what your connection is.
those of you that wanted to know. So spiritual connection, one that goes back through years and years and years, one that's got karmic energy, one that has a little bit of fear based, uh, your blocks fear, I can't remember now without going back through it. This is what happens when I channel, it comes in and it goes out, it's like total amnesia. Uh, wanting it all now, getting the outcomes that you want in the end, uh, trusting in the process, signs and symbols, we talked through numbers, we've talked through um, going with the flow, no this was that, listening to songs, talk through numbers, letting the universe carry you, working out what the specific symbols means and the cups, how to move the thought situation forward, trust in the process, trust in yourself, release any past hurt, release any uh, hurt that's happening at the moment, manifest the situation moving forward. If you want a past life reading to help clear up any karmic energy as well, give me a shout. I do past life readings, I do life um, purpose readings, I do normal readings, um, and I do another one. Can't even think what the other one is. Um, but go with the flow of it, all right? You can't run before you can walk. Remember, it's not about the destination, it's the journey. Overall outcome, you've got a really good shot at it. Uh, you've got a really good chance of the two of you coming together. But you can't rush it. And that is deck number one. Okay, I hope it didn't blow your mind too much. Um, I'm just going to have a break for a minute. I'm going to have a glass of water. That's what I want Okay, let's do deck number two. My dog's just messing with all my tarot cards. I've got tarot cards all over all over the place and she's there kicking them around. Okay, deck number two. What am I on? 2020. Well, there's a sign in its own right. So like I said with deck number one, how we're going to do this is we're going to go into your strongest mutual energy. We've drawn out a spread on how this is going to work and we're going to do the truth about your connection. So we've got connection, we've got your blocks, we've got your signs, how to make signs about the situation, how to move it forward and your overall outcome. Some of this is going to be repetitive at deck number one, um, but hopefully most of it isn't. So think about your person, for example, signs might be repetitive at deck number one, because there's a lot of information about signs that you need to do, learn. So I'll tell you to go back and watch it if that comes up. Okay, think about your person. Right. Let's get this. Let's go. Can we get the connection of the people watching and their person? What is the connection? One. What is the connection? Two. Three. I'm still battling this cold. It's why I'm sniffling. What are the blocks with this person? What are the blocks of the collective energy? Well, one, two, three. What are the signs of this connection? How are we going to move this in signs? Interesting. Two. That's way too many. Two. What are the signs of them and their person? Or four of them. How to move it forward? One. Two. Whoa! That was a hand slip and a crack of a hand slip. Right, how can I move the situation forward? And um, what's the overall outcome for them and their person? One, two, just one more. What is the overall outcome for them and their person? Okay, so let's get cracking. Your connection. So you guys uh, are coming up in this kind of page energy. Now this relationship with you and your person is quite, um, on a spiritual level, it's still going to be a spiritual connection, but it's quite a new spiritual connection. So with your uh, deck number one, we've been through loads and loads of past life karma. You and your person, this is a relatively new spiritual connection. Um, it's a, a lot of you, this will be a soulmate connection. A lot of you, this will be, uh, some of you, this is definitely a karmic connection. Um, some of you, a couple of you actually, it's gonna be twin flame, not many. One or two of you is twin flame. So but this is a new relationship. Um, come in this lifetime, maybe one or two lifetimes before, um, but it's, it is a brand sparkling new collection connection and it's in these kind of early days of this connection from a spiritual perspective and um, there has been quite a journey with you and your person straight away you've got this um ability with one another to to trust to to in um 
sorry, to comprehend what each other is thinking, to comprehend what each other is feeling and to pick up on one another. So you've got the page of wands over here, you've got the page of swords and in the middle you've got the eight of wands. Now not the card's going to mean anything because I'm completely channeling from spirit today. But this is saying that this connection, it kind of goes backwards and forwards. It goes up and, and down, it goes into a yo-yo and it's on a very new spiritual connection. Um, it's a sexual connection, it's a, a connection that works on logic, um, and it is a baby connection. So like I said, it's like a baby connection. What we mean by that is it's, again, it's a very, very new spiritual relationship. It'll be from this lifetime, possibly a lifetime before. Um, on an earthly level, you've got the sexual energy, you've got the logical energy. Heart-centered energy does come into it, but both of you are a little wary of it and talking about it. Um, and when you do talk about it, sometimes you can feel that you're being um, kind of, what would you say in England, pied, uh, talked to the hand, you know, they'll run away from that kind of energy. And that's because it is this new baby relationship. The other side of this is that um, you're both very, very strong and determined people. You both kind of want the same things, but you both go about it really, really different ways. Um, this relationship is going to progress in this lifetime. It's also going to progress in other lifetimes. Your person has, and sometimes you as well, please don't take this uh, to heart, but sometimes there is that ability, be, ability to be quite judgmental within this relationship. The reason for that, again, is because it is a baby, baby relationship. It's a new relationship, a new spiritual relationship. So you will have people in your lives that you have had uh, loads and loads of lifetimes with and you can be really mature and really like, okay, non-judgmental towards them listen to everything they say now with your person we start to go into a little bit of judgments and go well you're an arsehole you're a you know fill in the gap and um, that kind of area of judgment because it's not going how you want it to but again that's because it's a very very new on a spiritual perspective very very new relationship and um, if you want to know more about that you can visit the akashic records um, i do past life readings as well so if you want to have a look at past life readings give me a shout but that is what your connection is spiritual but a new one uh, sexual uh, logical sometimes two hands to clap it's quite hard for you guys to meet in the middle sometimes okay what are the blocks that are stopping you to being together um sometimes it can be that you guys want to your person wants to get kind of one up on you there's like that little bit of a battle to try and be like well i'm doing this i'm doing that um this is an earthly block the other earthly block is these fears again that's kind of coming in that came in from deck one that's not surprising fear based energy love based energy fear comes into it um i said in deck one the same that you want to get from point a to point c but you're not going to go for, you want to skip point b and again with you guys that's because it's a new relationship um there's also a level of uncertainty with you guys about not knowing what your person wants and that you create into this block. Now remember that uh, Neville, Goddard, Goddard, Neville Goddard said that everything outside is a reflection of our inside world, okay? So what we are see, seeing on our outside world is what is going on in our inside world. So if you're feeling that you cannot move this relationship forward, that is because there's a block within you moving yourself forward. If you're feeling that your person, I don't know, isn't attracted to you, that's because there's a block in you finding yourself unattractive. If you find that um, you have these fears of this person, is this person seeing someone else? Am I not good enough? That's because, again, these are these fears that are kind of amalgamating in you. So it's really, really important to start working with yourself. Again, if you want that, I do it in manifesting plans. If you want your manifesting plan doing, give me a shout. But start working on your inside world and that will start reflecting onto your outside world, okay? So uh, working through the fears, knowing that everything is this inside is this reflection of the outside. If that makes sense to you. I hope I've, I haven't explained that very well. He, he says everybody is you pushed out. And I, I kind of, it took me a while to get my head around that years ago. It took me a while to get my head around it. But basically it's your inside world is a reflection of your outside world. Everything that we built in this life, the uh, my home, my dog, everything that, my hair, my Adidas jacket, it's a reflection of, it's all energy. It's not physical things, it's, it, you know, it's all energy. Everything is energy. Everything has certain frequencies. Um, and when we reach that frequency within ourselves, we reach that frequency outside. Everything on my outside world, my dog, my home, this is all stuff that I have wanted in my inside world. I felt good enough to get in my inside world and I've gone and got it. 
okay so remember that and hope that hasn't blown your mind too much so that is a block in it and um, there's a bit of self-confidence bit of self-doubt and um, it's kind of not trusting the process it's wanting everything to come at once uh, have a look at Neville Goddard and um, there is a block in this kind of manifestation and again that's because you want it now I also spoke about uh, in deck number one I spoke about uh, holding on to the situation and not releasing it again remember release is uh, the law of detachment law of detachment in the universe means you have to let something go for a, it to kind of come back towards you and if you guys are clinging on to the situation and trying to control it rather than letting the universe control it that is going to block this situation moving forward okay so those are your blocks at the moment that is what is stopping it reflection of your inside world how you're feeling about yourself also remember that you guys mirror so anything that you are feeling your person is feeling as well so if you're feeling that you are not good enough your person is going to be feeling that now isn't uh, they're not good enough like it's not the right time they've got to work on themselves you know anything that you are feeling your person will be feeling as well you'll mirror that energy mirroring isn't always a direct um a direct mirror of what you're thinking there can be little blips so for example if you're saying to your person I'm gonna give you space I'm gonna give you time I'll let you come to me but you're texting them every day you're gonna give them these mixed messages okay um, and it's the same with your person if they're saying I need some space um, I want to work on myself again you're echoing the energy that you need that space and you're going to work on yourself but you kind of need to prove it your actions and words need to marry up with one another not just yours your person's as well okay so actions and words inside world is a reflection of outside world mirroring um wanting all here and now and fear-based energy those are your blocks hope that doesn't blow your mind okay signs signs and symbols so i spoke about this in deck number one and um, you might have to scroll back to deck number one because i don't want to repeat myself because i know a few of you will watch deck one two deck two um i talk about the numbers in deck number one about two to two three 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 four 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 how to work them all out it's all about working with the universe to work out what the specific signs are for you and it's interesting because in deck number one i said i saw a car that said justice and this justice car has kind of come up here um you will know uh when the karma is cleared with your person now with that as a sign you will see a, a physical sign like on a street post and it will say something like cleared or um you know everything's cool etc etc so don't let these fears come in towards you you need to pay attention to what you are not just seeing but what you're getting in your own intuition okay a lot of you are getting messages in your own intuition and discounting it so watch out for physical signs um watch out for your karma being cleared you'll see that really specifically on it on a sign it looks to be a road sign um watch out for your own intuition please do not disregard your own intuition i'm also just seeing a clairvoyant image of the moon and the sun if you start seeing those together um you know work out what they mean to you when you see the symbols go into your thought what were you thinking about write it down five six times of writing it down you're going to work out what the universe is trying to tell you but you got lot deck number two moon and sun uh, coming together as one is a really really strong symbol for you guys um Set in deck number one to listen to songs as well. When songs start playing on the radio, that is going to be a key indicator of things moving forward in your situation, depending on the lyrics. You can, like we said with the, at the start, you pick up on your person really easily. So if you suddenly get a thought or a feeling um, and you're like, oh my God, where did that come from? That is your person kind of connecting with your energy. Um, make sure that you're returning to sender. The empaths of you lot, return to sender, say return to sender three times, send it back. Uh, I don't want to, I, I, I hate repeating myself on this but I know I've got loads of new subscribers empaths and and you lot watching are sponges and you soak up other people's energy um so if your person suddenly feeling crap and they they feel it in the inside you are going to absorb that energy into yours make sure that you say return to sender three times and send it back it does lift the energy it does give it a clear out stop yourself from feeling stuck in the situation um don't make signs up you know if you're suddenly thinking oh well that could be a sign or that might be a sign and um, you will know when the universe is giving you or, or spirit giving you those specific signs you will tell it will be in your own intuition so trust your own intuition um, and again that's coming through the signs and symbols of intuition the other thing spirit are talking about is doing automatic writing with you lot deck number two so get a pen and a paper shut your eyes go into a meditative state breathe in breathe out three or four times and um, 
and just see what kind of comes into your energy. Put a white light behind around you beforehand to protect yourself. Um, but get pen and paper, shut your eyes and just start, well you might have to open your eyes to write, but don't think about what you're writing, just channel it. And by the time you put the last full stop in the paper, there's going to be letters absolutely everywhere, but it's going to be making um, some kind of story towards you. Try not to think about what you are writing. Wait until that last full stop goes on that paper, then you can go back and read, and you've connected up with spirit. So a lot of your signs you can get for yourself. Uh, there are universal signs to help you. Again, if you want to know about the numbers, go back and watch that one. Um, don't make up the signs yourself. Karmic signs will definitely come up in this energy. So any signs that karmic energy is clearing, you'll take note of. And mostly that will be street signs coming up for you guys. Watch out for a sun and moon kind of interlinking because that's going to be a merging of your two energies. And you pick up on other people, so make sure you send it back because you pick up on your person specifically. Trust your own intuition on it. If you suddenly feel really anxious or worried or concerned, say return to sender, send it back. Those are your signs. How to move the situation forward. Lay your weapons down, okay? Trust in the process. You are both clinging on to the situation still. Trust in the process. Trust in it moving forward. Your person is going to come towards you with some kind of offer. If this, again, is another page. Again, it's this kind of immature, young energy of this new, rela new relationship. Um, if you don't hear from your person, please do not chase them, um, don't go running after them, let them come to you, let them come to you in their own time, because by chasing them, you're going to kind of back them into a corner, and that is going to scare them and worry them, and it's going to make them push you further away, they're not going to talk about their emotions until they feel ready to, um, there's a really good chance that the two of you are going to come together, but you need to lay your weapons down, try to let be, I know it's hard, but try to be less defensive, um, Trust the universe, trust the process, your person's going to come to you with their own sign, with their own symbol. If your person has given you a specific gift or given you flowers or spoke about flowers, there are signs and symbols in that as well that your person is giving you. Trust in that. Sorry guys, my nose. Trust in that. Um, and this is going to be moving it forward, okay? Don't run before you can walk. Again, I said this in deck number one, it's not about the destination, it's the journey. This is going to take a bit of time. Um, some of you are moving it forward quite quickly. Some of you are moving it forward slower. Um, but remember, it's kind of baby steps and that energy between the two of you is very, very strong. It's very, very passionate. Um, and that is going to push the situation forward as well. They can't just suddenly cut the connection with you. It won't work. Okay? Those of you that say, you know, cord cutting, I, I do recommend cord cutting, but with a more spiritual connection, it's impossible to cut cords. Like Twin Flames tried to cut cords, it won't work because you're not connected by cords, you're connected by energy. Uh, what you can do on that, again, keep your energy clear, keep clearing your energy and that will move it forward as well. Overall outcome, here's your other page. Um, if you go with the flow of it, if you trust the process, if you do all the things that Spirit has said, manifest the outcome you want. If you want your manifesting plan dimming, let me know. Go with the flow of it. You've got the Nine of Cups, which is your wishes coming true. You've got the Star, which is being on the right path. And you've got the Page of Cups, which is your cost of a new relationship. And with this being your little baby relationship, new to Earth, um, this is talking about you guys coming together. Okay, so it's going to take a bit of time, it's not an overnight fix, um, hopefully you've got a bit of advice and guidance to help you move it forward now, keep it balanced, trust in the process, lay your weapons down, they'll come to you with an offer, there's a really good potential of union, don't rush your journey, enjoy it, embrace it, I know enjoy it, it's a bit like, oh my god, I can't enjoy it, Ali, but try to embrace it, try to see everything as a lesson, you know, how I reflect on the world is, I'm not a human having a spiritual experience, I'm a spirit having a human experience, try and trigger your mind frame, try and switch it around a little bit, and it'll turn, in, it'll start turning in your favour, release the situation, let it go, let it flow, remember, emotion is just energy in motion, okay, so you're moving that energy, whenever if you're having a dark thought that is energy or, or a difficult thought that's energy emotion and you're manifesting it 17 seconds that's all you got that's all you got stop it change that thought go and see your friends try and forget about it breathe meditate relax trust in the process let the universe do its job pay attention to the signs clear the blocks that we talk about try switch these fear-based energy trust that your person has the same feelings for you it's going to take time yeah we, again like send that one you can't get from a being where you are now to c being in a relationship without going through b 
okay? And B is what you're here for. B is these lessons. B is this karmic clearing. B is learning who you are as a person and using the tools you've been given, you know? You pick up on your person, use that to your ability. Don't go like, you, I mean, you're not gonna be able to affect free will or change your mind frame or anything like that, but again, reflect on who you are as a person and what you are feeling, what they are making you feel, Neville Goddard, see where that is affecting you on your inside as you as a person and make a change. Okay, and that's step number two. So thank you for bearing with me with my really disgusting, yucky nose. Um, it's been my phone cut out. I, I recorded on my phone, it cut out on the very last second then. Um, so take care. If you want to book a, a reading, email mrlotaro at gmail.com. You can go have a look at the website which has got all the details. Um, that's mysticlovetarot.com. I haven't put on there the individual readings I do. I'm probably going to edit the website at some point and put that on there. But just email me if you want, if you're interested in past life, if you're interested in life purpose, if you're interested in a normal reading, um, anything that you specifically want to know about. The only questions I can't answer due to legal reasons are health, including pregnancy, um, finance and law. Those are the only three things I can't do. Anything other than that, I can look at for you. Uh, so if you suddenly have a brain wave before, oh, you know, I really want to know about this, just give me a holler, give me a shout, we can get that sorted. Um, I also do single questions, uh, which is 24 hours to 48 hour response time over email. So if you don't want to wait for my, my big wait list, uh, that's on 16 to 20 days at the moment. I have so many of you. Um, but if you want a quicker answer over email, it's only $11.11, .11, so just give me a shout. Uh, what else? What else? I'm on Instagram. If you want to go and have your say on the videos, that's just Mr. Love Tarot. And I'll speak to you all soon. I'll see you all next week. Have a good week. Bye!